This one's a classic holiday myth. It's the idea that a silver spoon put in the neck of an open bottle of champagne will actually keep it bubblier than any other method. So it looks like we need to leave one alone as the control, right? Exactly. Then the other one will have the silver spoon hung in it. Right. Right. One that's left open without anything on it. Correct. And then one that we've taken the cork out and put it back. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, I'm feeling a little lightheaded already. It's like drinking stars. So we have our control, the silver spoon, the open bottle, and the recorked bottle. Okay. All right, so we'll check them out tomorrow and see which one remained the bubbliest. All right, well, it's been 24 hours. Our champagne has been sitting in the fridge. Well, let's pull it out, see what it tastes like. All right. The guys do a blind taste test to individually rate the fizziness of each bottle. So we see how we did? Maybe it's the holiday spirit, but for once they agree. Both ranking the glasses in exactly the same order. <laughs> J3, <laughs> J4. Okay, now for the real test. Let's peel the stickers off and see what we got. All right, let's start from least bubbliest. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Silver spoon was the least bubbliest. Open bottle. Yep. And that one would be the corked. Whoa! For some reason, we thought the control bottle was not as fizzy. As the recorked bottle. I think pretty handily we struck down the silver spoon as a uh, preservative for bubbliness. Well, that's another Christmas myth up the chimney.